Tesla is getting most of the attention in the electric car world, but here's a mysterious California company that keeps making big hires from BMW and even Tesla itself, and has quietly built a staff of over 400 people. I had a chance to tour Faraday Futures Southern California headquarters before they come out of stealth mode and to talk to the company's top engineer and designer. Nick Sampson is the senior vice president of Faraday Future and is one of the company's founders, leading engineering. So the first discussion started 18 months ago. 18 months ago. So we've got to have a car that perhaps can just turn up when you need it. You, could, you don't have to own it, you can just call it up on your phone or you can pre-book it or it'll just know that you need it because you're scheduled to go somewhere. We wanted to not just be an automotive company, so we reached out into the aerospace industries, into medical device industries, into the internet and technology industries to pull together a, a, a group of people with a diverse range of skills. Nick, so what do, you, what do you bring to the equation as far as your background? You're an engineer by training. Uh, engineer by training, but uh, also uh, I bring more than engineering. Uh, I also studied economics and business, so I understand uh, those sides of things and at Tesla for instance we did a completely different sales model rather than the traditional dealership model we used a, a model where we sold via the internet sold via stores sold in places that people had more access to rather than the sort of rather remote so is Faraday going to have a similar spirit as Tesla or how is it going to be different it's going to be different in that we're creating a, a an environment that's even more creative. Many people look at Tesla and think of that they, they've done it differently to the traditional auto industry, which they have, but there's, there's other, other ways even more different. Imagine the future and the environment you want to be in and the products and the, the world that you want to create and then work out how would I get to that place. Uh, if I go on a road trip now at the weekend, I have to plan that in in, in, indoors on a computer and then I have to go to the car and re-put that in. I have to sort of mess about, I can't, it, it's not seamless, it's not a, a, a world where the car knows me, knows my needs. No. If, if, I can, if I plan something on, on one device, why shouldn't that be available on another device? If I plan my journey, I should get in the car, the car should know my journey, or it should know some of the places I want to visit on the way because it, it knows my preferences or even suggests places, it might say, well, we're going on this journey to here. Would you like to stop at this restaurant? Rather than we have to even bother to go on and say, can you find me a restaurant? The car should begin to le learn my desires, learn what I, what I like, where I want to go. Or even not just me, the owner or the user of the car, it should the other people that are with me. It, I mean, I can see a time we're envisioning a car that's much smarter than anything we've got today. So if we went on a journey together, it should know my music taste because it, it knows who I am and it's, it's read my playlists and it should know who you are and the car should just say, I'm going to start playing these tracks because I found a commonality there. You both should like this genre of music. So it should also know other things about everybody that's connected with the car. Will it be a car with a single owner or do you see it as more No, of very a... much we see that yes, there will be cars that still have single owners but uh, in the future with there be a Already a vast number of people who don't want to own a car anymore. We might, instead of, instead of having, uh, own, owning a car, it, it might be a subscription. Does that make you want to make something that could race, that could be, have a performance element well, to it I, too? I, I guess I'm always going to have that desire. <laughs> so, yes. But when you start a company, you can do that, right? Like you can say, well, why don't we try this? Or yep, there, there's, there's that opportunity to, instead of it being a great thing to get a lot of people around in an efficient manner, we just that just for one person to go and have fun. So from an engineering point, does that mean you start with one car and you build out from that or do you introduce 10 different shapes and let people choose which one they want or how does that work? Our longer term vision is that uh, we're going to have to develop a completely different range of vehicles for the future. And where's your company in that process? Of we're moving remarkably quickly. We've already got a test vehicle out running testing uh, electrical system here in California uh, and we're already uh, well through the design process for uh, production. We already are releasing uh, data and information to start having parts made for real vehicles in the future. So it is an American car company that you're trying to... We're, yeah, the, the company is, uh, was founded here in uh, California and uh, we're going to be manufacturing in the USA. Thinking about, you know, really being in the West Coast now, you know, this is, we have Apple that might be coming into the car world, Google, 
new companies that are really no longer traditional automotive companies. So do you see those companies as like-minded competitors? Not like-minded competitors, I just find them, consider them as like-minded allies. To me, it's a great thing that some of those other companies are coming into the industry. It's not a threat. The more that people that join, the more the consumers will realize that the opportunities that are available and the, the swing will accelerate. Richard Kim, best known for leading the design on the BMW i3 and i8, is now the head of design for Faraday. It's about, it's not really about designing a car, it's more about designing a brand, designing from the ground up, clean sheet of paper. Sheet of paper, but yeah. is that, that's an old way of doing yeah. things, right? Like uh, you... Well, literally and figuratively yeah. a clean sheet of paper. I mean, and you come from personally working on, you know, such kind of design crazed cars like mm -hmm. i8, i3. Mm -hmm. um, do you draw from some of that knowledge or do you just start completely new? Yeah, we're, tr we're trying to, to kind of hit the reset button. We're designing the car from the inside out and that's unique. We do a lot in Oculus and augmented reality, so it's a very unique uh, org structure. Yeah, so maybe you can talk about where you are in the design process. Is this an actual car here that yeah, we're so next to? Yeah, so this is one of the few prototypes we're working on. We're working on um, multiple things at the same time, and this is a, a, a model of something we did in this very new and uh, uh, unique process. It's very, very digital oriented, a lot of VR, a lot of AR, so this is the result. Less than a year. That's right. When you mentioned this this car, mm -hmm. it's a process that starts, you said, from the interior going out. That's so right. it's not yeah. just a shell, essentially. Right. It's yeah. got a lot of yeah. hard wiring in there. Yeah. And what's the advantage to using to using AI and to using these sort of intuitive ways of design? I mean, does that allow you different materials to work with? So that process is giving us time we're doing things super fast, third of the time that I'm used to, and we're still doing it at a high quality. Whereas the old, older way is uh, first you do maybe a clay model, and then you do a hard model, and then you paint it, and then you do an interior, same process, and then you kind of put them together and you're like, oh wait, I missed something. With our process, everything is checked immediately. It's not clear when Faraday will unveil its first product. I expect to hear more from Faraday Future in 2016. So by 2020, will we see your cars on the road? Absolutely.